Kanye West's wife Bianca Sensori may have seemingly hit out at the rapper's ex Kim Kardashian after she stepped out wearing a toy cat last week. Kim, 43, was attacked by Karl Lagerfeld's $13 million cat shoe pet on the last season of The Kardashians after she attempted to bond with the feline so she could take it as her date to the Met Gala. But her idea to take shoe pet was short-lived after the cat kept hissing at the billionaire and later tried to attack her. The 2023 Met Gala theme was Karl Lagerfeld, the German fashion designer who passed away in 2019 and left a whopping $1.5 million to the cat in his will. And following the catfight blunder, it appears as if Bianca has tired to mimic Kim's idea by using a cat as an accessory, but instead choose a fur toy instead of the real deal, unlike Kim. Bianca bared all again for a night on the town in Miami as she showed off the cat accessory clutched to her chest to cover her modesty as she stepped out with husband Kanye, 46. Kanye wore a black covering over his head paired with a leather coat, black tee and slouchy boots. Kim's showdown with late Carl's cat choupette was aired on Disney Plus in October, sharing the process behind her Met Gala outfit. While Kim was in Paris with her son Saint and his soccer friends to watch a football match, she stopped off to meet Choupette. In the episode, Kim said, So we just left London, and our next leg on our soccer tour is to Paris, to see Paris Saint-Germain play. And while I am here, I have a little meeting with Choupette, Karl Lagerfeld's cat, because Choupette is supposed to be my date for the Met. I want to spend some time with her, get to know her, and just see if we vibe. Guys, is this cat gonna like me? Kim added, I literally feel like I am going on a blind date. She met up with Choupette's caregivers Lucas Berulier, the cat Choupette's agent, and Francoise Cocotte. As Kim gently sat on the couch to greet the white-haired cat, she said, Hi baby. What a beautiful cat, Kim added, but as Kim kept petting her, Choupette turned her head away and hissed before turning to Kim hissing again. Don't worry, she won't do anything to you, Kim is told, as she laughs it off and says, oh it's okay, I act like that sometimes too. Kim added in confession, I think Choupette is playing hard to get, maybe she just has to warm up, you know. She is feisty, Kim says in the room, adding in confession, Choupette is really key to my whole vibe for the Met this year, so if we don't vibe, I don't know what I am gonna do. I just hope she warms up to me, cause this wouldn't be cute. Kim tried to stay calm with the cat while lowering her finger and saying softly, please don't bite me, but the cat hissed again leaving Kim to quickly pull her hand back. The cat's agent admitted, She's not the biggest cuddler, but every time Kim tried to lower her hand over the cat, she hissed. Kim added in confession, so I am getting a little bit nervous and I think I just fully want to pivot. There's so many factors I think could be negative, especially with the cameras and the people. Even if she's scared from the cameras and not me, I don't know if it's fair to shoot pet, so I think I realized really quickly that, Choupette, were not a match, so I am not bringing her to the Met. As they showed Kim trying to hold her, she hissed again. Kim and Kanye, who married in 2014 and split up in 2021, are now co-parenting their four children, North, 10, Saint, 7, Chicago, 5, and Psalm, 4. Bianca, who married Kanye last December, has previously hit out at the reality star, urging the Skims billionaire to step back and mind her own business. She accused Kim of putting their children's safety in jeopardy after she claimed Kanye was living in an apartment without security, as insiders insist the couple do have protection. Kim divulged details about his apparent living situation on an episode of The Kardashians, in which she said he also doesn't employ a chef or a nanny opting instead for the simpler life after moving out of the $60 million Calabasas compound they used to share. But now, sources close to Bianca have refuted her comments, claiming they do, in fact, have security, and no longer live in an apartment. 
Bianca thinks it was quite tacky of Kim to divulge this information on the Kardashians and, by doing so, she was actually putting her kids' safety in jeopardy, the insider told Daily Mail. Calm exclusively, the public doesn't need to know that their kids would be without protection at any time. She just wants Kim to stop talking about her husband Kanye in a negative light to try and make herself look better. Kim's public admission came as she discussed 10-year-old daughter North's desire to live with her dad during season 4 of the hit show. North, shall go to her dad's, shall be like, dad is the best. He has it all figured out. He doesn't have a nanny. He doesn't have a chef. He doesn't have security. He lives in an apartment, she said on last week's episode. She added that North would cry to her, asking, Why don't you have an apartment? I can't believe we don't have an apartment. Kanye and Bianca moved into a $20,000 per month West Hollywood apartment in December when renovations began on his $57 million, 4,000 square foot Malibu Beach front house. The couple legally wed that month under a confidential marriage license, just a month after his divorce from Kim was finalized. The newlyweds stayed without the help of extra staff and security for six months until June when they employed protection ahead of embarking on trips to Japan and Europe. Kim's disclosure about her ex-husband's living situation was filmed between February and July. According to a separate source, Kanye is keen for his children to live a simpler life and to not be spoiled by the trappings of their luxury upbringing. Kanye loves his kids and wants the best for them and wants them to certainly enjoy what they are provided from their parents' successes, but he also wants them to live a simpler life and appreciate what they can work hard for, they told Daily Mail. Calm. Kanye doesn't want his kids to be jaded and spoiled, he wants them to know they can do anything, but it just takes a little more hard work to achieve that. Bianca and Kanye appear very much together despite recent claims that they were taking a break after Bianca's friends staged a successful intervention to raise concerns about her relationship with the rapper. While Kanye and his wife were in Miami, Kanye's kids appeared to snub Bianca in their Christmas celebrations. His ex Kim Kardashian shared clips showing off their four children's gingerbread houses, featuring names of family members. The outing comes following claims that Bianca will defend husband Kanye against anti-Semitism allegations until the end of time, despite the controversial rapper appearing to double down on his slew of problematic remarks with an offensive new lyric about f asterisk 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 ing a Jewish person. Bianca was recently reunited with her spouse in Dubai, where she watched him perform his new track, Vultures, alongside Lil Durk and Ty Dolla Sign. Videos shared online captured Kanye belting out the lyrics. How can I be anti-Semitic? I just f asterisk 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 get a Jewish b asterisk 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 asterisk. But Bianca reportedly believes her husband's words have been taken out of context, with insiders claiming she denies the allegations of anti-Semitism and racism leveled against him. She would defend Kanye until the end of time on this a source told DailyMail.com exclusively. She knows that things get taken out of context. She knows that Kanye is not anti-Semitic and he is definitely not racist. They add that the pair, who are fast approaching their first wedding anniversary, do not read the awful things said about them.